Howdy y'all, it's your host Ro. Welcome back to Love It Games. Today we're going to play a new game, uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me. So, I hope you enjoy. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to hop right into this. Now, I will say I don't know where it's going to be the best place for the camera. I may have to move this at some point during the game. We're going to find out. Right now I have it in the bottom corner. I may have to go to the top. may have to go to the bottom. We're going to have to see what works the best. But I've been excited to play this one. I haven't watched anything on it. I don't know the story. At all. We're going to figure out what this is. This is the fourth game in the series. Now play alone. I've purposely tried to avoid anything on this, so it's completely new. Start the. <laughs> well, okay, that makes sense because I have not played it. New story. I'm gonna go forgiving because it we're just playing it for the first time. Play with the controller, press A to play with the mouse, press left the tutorial. I'll play with an A for now. Play with the controller for now. Play with the A. They have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. Hosea 8 7. Every choice has a consequence. Oh, I wonder if Tom Hanks is. It's not Tom Hanks, but the character looks like Tom Hanks. It's, man. Some decisions save lives. It's the curator. To me, he looks just like Tom Hanks. Others. lead to. Yeah, that's sad. I don't like grass, but still, the choose wisely. Two hundred and sixty-four feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> They're sweet. Snake oil something. I think we've arrived. You know what? The camera's gonna be in place of text, I bet. Isn't this grand? As advertised, very nice. But we have to see text go that big, so I'm kind of curious. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Excited, let's go to the fair later today. Reassuring. Why can I not? Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. 
Dude, your mouth is huge. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Yes, today's the beginning of our Press honeymoon. Press hold right trigger to pick up objects. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade World's is Fair in Hotel. order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. Triple H. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. He seems questionable. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Story. He's no. already changed selection. What did oh. I forget to bring? Face powder. Variants updated. Pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? I wanted to still look, I didn't mean to pick up the very first item and just call it there. Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Press the aim to time the heartbeat wide. They're gonna know it's you. You're the only ones who are just checking in. <laughs> that was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. Oh. Did you enjoy the private room you busted in? Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Oh, snap. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. So we know her name is Marie. We don't know me? his name. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. He's R to aim, right trigger to target. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Marie purchased the tin of powder. Jeff gave Marie a necklace. He purchased a jewelry can. Oh. There are 50 secrets. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. jammed shut maybe if we put a little weight into it <sighs> open sesame <laughs> thank you why don't you have a shave while i take a quick bath 
then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> Don't you worry. Still pictures. The other dark picture mythology games. You find the pictures and it tells you when some shit's about to happen. was the way we came up. What? Ah! Oh my god. Almost save. screen characters can equip the items they have in their inventory. Press that to equip an item. Right trigger. Why did you put powder on before the bath? A chance to look at what the other items were so we missed out on something that may have been vital is that you darling jeff oh are we playing another game Uh, we want to relax. The dark picture game. You gotta be Already? careful. You know, this tub is awfully big. I think there might be room for another body. Oh. Hmm, that's nice. That ain't Jeff. Ow. I knew it, Jeff. You don't know your own strength. Easy, dear. Jeff, that hurts. Hello, my dear. Ah! Oh, I know. You don't want to disturb the other guests. Let go of me! Let go of me! I really thought you'd have a little more fight in you. Oh, oh, we hadn't. Yeah, all we had is face powder. There we are. Nice and quiet. Oh. 
so she did. What are you doing? If you've touched Maria, you're a bit late with that sentiment, good sir. Is there a problem, sir? Is that a gas pipe? It is a gas pipe. Too. I wonder if there's any way of actually saving them. My dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. Uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh, oh yeah. The curator. Won't you spare me over till another year? To me, he looks just like Tom Hanks. the character they've made with this guy. I swear though, he looks like Tom Hanks and it is death. Feather. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. 
Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. My first time playing this one, and I haven't had one where I've killed everyone. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create, and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Yeah. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on... Uh, uh, and, uh, and, yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting tech for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that, man. How do you even start? He looks like the uh, captain from Man and Medan. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived. Uh, he looks like film. the dude from Little Hope. Didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. I oh, it's the, the bus driver. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. 
but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city. The number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh... I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m., be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. The Charlie received a call from Grantham DeMana and stepped with an investigation to his H.H. Holmes inspired murder. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind it. You're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip! Huzzah! Woohoo! Hooray! Let's go, guys. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because <laughs> you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this. Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that could affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. That's dangerous. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka.
they have some sort of state of the art surveillance. If this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> No, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice <laughs> knowing you. Come on. All right. Can I? So we got Aaron. This is Charlie. Aaron, Jamie, Kate, Mark. I'm super curious if there ever been any way to save them. Secrets. Uh, okay. I actually think we're going to call it an episode there because it's a good starting point. I have a feeling that we may not have another good uh, stopping point for another 45 50 minutes. Hour. That's how dark pictures tends to go. So we're gonna call it here. So thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. As on the next episode, wonderful day, and God bless.